Hey, welcome back, Foul Mouth Fishing. Uh, <clears throat> as I said, I, I did order some stuff from Tackle Warehouse. I'm going to post this video a little later on, um, just because I get tired of hearing my own voice, and I'm sure you get tired of hearing me once in a while, too, so we don't need to throw videos back to back to back. But uh, I did order some stuff from Tackle Warehouse, and I got that order in the other day, so we'll open that up and see, uh, see what I got. And uh, today, this lovely Saturday morning, with a bombing 63 degree day, um, I decided to go out fishing for the first time for the year, and realized um, my license had expired. <laughs> so yeah, my license expired in December, obviously, and, and I just never got around to renewing it, and so I was like, oh yeah, I better do that before I head out. So while at Dick's Sporting Goods getting my license renewed, I... Uh, I picked up some goodies. Uh, first and foremost, let's start with the Dick stuff because that was the beginning of the day for me today. Um, I got two more of the Lunker Hut spiders in colors that I don't have. I have every color they offer now. So uh, the new one I got, this is the leaf color, and then they have, uh, I believe it's called, um, yeah, leaf and then poison. So poison color and leaf color. So one's more of a white bottom green natural tone and the other one is the yellow chartreuse belly tone um, <clears throat> i already owned in my little uniques unique basically my gimmick box um i've got the uh the little lunker hunt the sandy brown color i've got the black bottom with the brown and uh, the all black black widow one and of course the white so, just like any frog fishing uh, system, you want to have the different colors. It's not the back of the spider that you want to pay attention to or the back of the frog that you want to pay attention to. You always want to focus your energy on the, the belly. That's what the fish are going to see looking up. So, uh, I don't know. I don't, it might catch the fishermen, but uh, it's that side that catches the fish. So, that's what I focus on right there. At any rate, light up a little bit. Um, I got those two. I picked up some bargain stuff that I saw on sale while there. Uh, a little old school cream brand worms. I, I love these. I love these Texas rig. I love these uh, drop shot, wacky rig. I just, I love the creams, worms. These are the six inch. I don't know. It, again, this is more probably catch me, catch a fisherman, but uh, just nobody represents a regular standard Jersey night crawler better than, than cream. Um, you get Cinco's in blue and black and, and orange and everything else, but the natural, you know, uh, off-white and red tone of a real worm, and cream just, just knocks it out the park. Uh, I needed to top off on my bobber stops because I go through them like crazy. Uh, those are the 12-pound. These are the 4-8-pound. to eight pound. I picked up a couple of bobber stops. For right now, with the cold water weather, um, probably going out with my ultralight gear and I figured I'd go for some you know for some pan fishing and some stuff and trout because uh, we do have stock trout and uh, so we've got the uh, Jawbone Tackle Company this is their 1.75 inch slam uh, slab tube in lemon, lemon meringue so I saw these and they just intrigued me it's that chartreuse and white uh, you know popsicle kind of color scheme that I like and, uh, I mean, it's just got a ton, a ton of little act active, because uh, it's a tube, obviously. It's a small little tiny tube. But I thought this would be great for, you know, a little finessing for some bait fish and some, some pan fish. Maybe catch a crappy bluegill. Who knows? Maybe uh, something might come up and surprise me. And I needed a little bit of fluoro, so I got some 7-pound or 17-pound fluorocarbon by Stren. Um... This is the, yeah, Fluorocast Stren. And uh, finally, since in Mystery Tackle Box, I got one of their Bubonics in that Mystery Tackle Box exclusive red craw pattern. Uh, it's not the same Bubonics red and black that you get in the stores. That's this kind of red and black, which is this kind of uh, matte finish. But I got the blue and black matte fish finish <coughs> Bubonic just to have, so I have the two color combinations. I have the craw color, and then I have that. So that was, that was nice. Um, got that real simple and easy. Knife. 
But the meat of the story was my tackle warehouse order. This is more my more my refills of things that I felt I needed, or more to the point, things that I felt I wanted. So. Uh, Unfortunately, there was one item that I got on email that said they didn't have it in stock. Packing information. Uh, we apologize as we're unable to ship the above item at this time as it was found in an unshippable condition. When more become available, we will ship it to ship you one immediately. Thank you for your understanding. So Tackle Warehouse has one item that they can't, can't ship me. But the rest of my order did come in, so I'll be anxiously awaiting that uh, that to come. So, what I did get, I got some Fish Heads E-Series Hammer Spin Jig Heads in 3 16 These are little jig heads with underspins built right in. Um, underspins are awesome for me. I, I like underspins on uh, Kytex. Um, I like underspins on a lot of different styles of, of baits. And these online, you know, they're a light light gauge they've got that down wire and your little underspin tiny little willow blade on a pretty stout hook um so i i just i couldn't help it i couldn't resist <clears throat> so i grabbed these there's two in a pack um i think it's worth it we'll see how it, how it works out i got some flukes and some kytex smaller kytex i think i'm gonna throw on that we got uh oh yeah trocar these are these are cutting through the package because they're that freaking stout. So I got a two-pack of 9 aught Trocar belly hooked or belly weighted. Uh, these will be for me showing showing some saltwater creatures some fun uh, a little later on in the season. But uh, I got a, this is a two-pack of this, and they literally busted the uh, the bottom of the package out. Oh well. So it is quantity of two. So I know I got both of them in there. These are again they're a 9 aught hook. Um, they're belly weighted to, uh, what is it, quantity of two. So I think this will work really well on some large, um, large swim baits, soft plastics out, uh, out at, at sea. I picked up two packages of glass beads. So these are Eagle Claws laser sharp faceted glass beads. I got them in a crystal clear color, probably hard to make out, and I got them in black. Uh, what caught me about these is they are a faceted glass bead. Um, obviously, as a glass bead, you will not throw these with tungsten weights, but with your standard lead weights, you shouldn't have a problem. If, uh, <clears throat> if you are worried about throwing glass beads even with a lead weight, what I've learned to do is get... Uh, what I do is I take a hole punch and I go and I get some, some thin gauge plastic. Nine times out of ten, it's this plastic. The plastic from my fish and tackle packages, from when I get hooks and things. So this thin gauge plastic, I will literally go and use a hole puncher and punch out a bunch of discs, right? Then I take those plastic discs and a sewing needle, and I pop a hole in the center, you know, eyeball the center. So when I'm spinning up my glass beads, what I'll do is I'll put the weight above, and I'll put one of those little plastic discs so that when the weight comes down, you have that little bit of cushion. Obviously, water cavitation, the water coming between the glass bead and the, and the weight as it's, as, there's, as it's sliding down the line, are going to act as a buffer by nature. But that extra little bit of plastic disc that's right there, it, it, it's almost like an airbag or um, I don't know, like a hydro sock. It just kind of slows that progression of that weight as it's sliding down the line so that it doesn't clack into the bead as loud. That being said, I typically only do that, I only do that with glass beads. 99.9% uh, .9 of the time it's with tungsten weights. Uh, and I always have two glass beads next to, next, next to each other. So you'll have the two black glass beads that'll actually clack against one another. Then I'll have that little plastic disc and then I'll have my weight. So that it, it basically it's, it prevents that tungsten from just coming down so qu so quick because the minute tungsten hits a glass bead, it's going to explode. It's going to shatter it in, in, in a second. Um, I'm not saying that it's 100% effective, but I will say I haven't had a problem with uh, with my lighter tungsten weights, my smaller tungsten weights, causing my glass beads to explode. Typically, I resist using tungsten with glass. I'll use plastic 
uh, plastic beads or I'll go to the hobby shop and I will pick up, you know, um, kiln fired beads, um, you know, pennies, pennies. You get a big case of multicolors for, you know, for a dollar twenty-five. <clears throat> but uh, it's just a suggestion. Hopefully, maybe if, if you're one that likes glass beads, that solution might work out. And it's cheap, it's easy, and it's, it's effective. At least for me, it's been effective. Next up in my order, let's see what I got. I got, uh, again, underspins. These are the Fish Heads Primal Vibe. Uh, these are the Beast. They are an underspin chatterbait. So I got them in two colors. I got them in the, um, what do they call this? They call it the Green Pumpkin Prime Vibe. And then I've got the Sexy Shad uh, color, obviously. So Sexy Shad and Green Pumpkin. Um, we'll just show the Green Pumpkin because it's easier to come up in this lighting. Pop this out of the, uh, the old packaging. Again, it's it's a chatterbait style uh, jig head. So there's your blade. It's got the uh, that tie on little fast clip, which I particularly don't care for, but whatever. Obviously, they have to adjust these. Different brands can't use chatterbait's exact profile standard, you know, setup and everything. They have to tweak it in order so that they're not infringing on copyrights. Um, but you got your chatterbait blade. A nice swim jig head, beautiful skirt material. It's pretty, pretty stout and, and sturdy. I wouldn't pull on it too much. I'm sure it'll pop apart. Uh, I don't know the, the quality of Primal Vibe particularly. Um, and then it's got that underspin willow blade, and that's definitely going to add a lot of the vibration and sound and the flash um, to hopefully pull in some spring bass and some summer bass shortly, a couple of months away from now. Uh, so I got those two. I've got, all right, let's see if I can get all these in here. So I got some Eagle Claw. They had only three sizes. They were out of the four. But I've got the two, three, and four sized split ring. These are the oval split rings. Uh, the two are a 25 pound test. The threes are a 36 pound test. And the fives are 60 pound test. Um, I like these oval split rings, especially on square bill crankbaits. Uh, and jerk baits. I think I just like the fact that it, it pulls because it's an oval, it's not just a circle split ring where your line's right there up against the bait. That little, I, for some reason, maybe it's just me, but that little extra amount of distance that it adds away from the lure itself by having an oval, um, that little bit that adds that line out here and then your baits back here, it just, I find it's better for my casting. I don't have. I, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, or maybe it's just I'm, I'm lucky when I seem to use them. It could be, you know, you know, frugal, stupid, idiotic luck. But uh, I don't have nearly as many treble hooks binding up on on the line during a cast, you know, fouling up and then having to reel it and pull it off and then cast it back out again. I don't have that, that issue with the ovals. As much as I always had in the past and even currently occasionally with uh, with uh, the circular uh, split rings. It's it's just a modern adaptation. It's a newer design, but it's no different than a, than a circle uh, split ring. It just, I don't maybe it's just blind luck. <clears throat> but I got those three. I also got uh, Fish Heads E-Series quarter ounce. Um, again, these are the underspins. I got them in two colors. That's why I got So I've got the black head in the, in the 3 16 and then in the quarter ounce, I have just the raw unpainted uh, lead. So I got the lead head in in a in a three in a excuse me in a quarter ounce, and then I've got the slightly smaller three sixteenths in the black finish. I got a Yozuri Rattle and Vibe. Uh, this is a plonget sinking. So I got a sinking little uh, you know lipless crankbait. Um, good good rattle set in there. Uh, it's a Yozuri. I love Yozuri stuff. This one is two and an eighth inch. That's a three eighths ounce. So, uh, you know, it's sinking. So I'll be using that again in the spring. I could not resist. I'm going to save that for the last thing I'm going to show you because there's a quick little story about that. I got a uh, live target. I've got, these are their gobies. We don't particularly have gobies in our water, but uh, I'm a YouTuber and I watch a lot of YouTube and I see a lot of people catching fish on goby. So... I figured for the price being on sale again. This is Tackle Warehouse. They just came off of their uh, their big Christmas sale and after and after Christmas New Year's sale. So uh, you know they were on discount. But uh, these are are pretty heavy, but they're a little soft 
boot tail, paddle tail, swim bait goby. Um, you know, it's a single hook on top, so it's not weedless. It's it's definitely going to catch the muck. Uh, but I think this set on on the bottom and just flitterate it around the bottom of the of the water of the of the, the ponds might actually catch me something. I don't know, but it's worth worth a shot. You know, so I got a pretty natural color. Um, it's I find it that if I'm if I'm hesitant for a bait because it's not a profile that I've fished before or it's something I'm not quite accustomed to, what I will try to do is buy color schemes that will cover a gambit of situations. So I went with this color as the option because it's got the silver flake and flash to it for uh, clear water or slightly muddy water, and it's still got a darker tone, black stripes for really murky water if it rains and it gets kind of churned up. It, it will give me the chance for the profile fishing uh, where they're just seeing a shadow and shape as well as in clear water it gives you flash and glimmer and shimmer and and looks like a goby or a fish and that might trip them out so that they can actually see it. Uh, I did pick up some soft plastics. I got uh, the six inch. These are the big bite baits. Uh, cradle tail worm. So these are a curly tail worm and I'm definitely going to be throwing these you know, Texas rigged or Carolina rigged. In fact, I just went downstairs and set up one of my Carolina rig uh, spinning reels. So I got that set up. But uh, there you go. It's just your standard six inch curly tail Senko worm. But uh, this is the green pumpkin. Uh, can't go wrong with that. Oh, excuse me. No, this is the tilapia. Yeah, it's, so it's green pumpkin with blue and purple flakes in it. They call it tilapia. Uh, eh, whatever. There is a 10-pack of the Big Bite Bait. So there's plenty of worms there for me to cast into trees. <laughs> and finally, uh, well, not finally, but in the soft plastics, I got um, Kytec. Uh, these are the Mag Wag Slim Worms in the plum color. Um, this is, you know, finessing cold water. Basically, it gives me the grub. I really shouldn't have opened this because I know these things are loaded with scent. But, uh, so these are a really nice, small, let me not mess up this tail, break it off where it goes. These are an awesome curly tail. It's got this long, thin little bobble, and it's, you know, it's a nice grub style pro profile, and it's small and compact, so I... Definitely, let me get this foil and scent off of my hands. Uh, this definitely will pay off uh, right now in the cold water uh, throughout the, the rest of this cold winter. Uh, just pan fishing and uh, and light lining just to uh, to catch some some fun fish uh, during my off hours. So uh, these are the four and a half inch Kytex, and uh, this again is the plum color um, for the slim worm. So. I think that's that's definitely going to be a fish killer uh, there. Now, last, because I couldn't resist. One thing I've been trying to get, uh, it's not for impossibility, I mean, it's pick up the, the com computer and, and go online and order it, but um, the, Austra excuse me, the Australian company, uh, Chase Bait, uh, there's also Chase Bait USA, their United States arm, but um, they have an amazing series of baits. I might actually just say the heck with it and go on and, and, and buy a, a grouping of that next. Um, but they have a series of baits. Some of them they have a bird um, that I was interested in. It's a top water similar to uh, the the uh, the bat for a savage gear. Um, it's a just a walking bait. Uh, they have uh, squid for their salt water which are very lifelike. The plastic itself is what intrigues me. The soft plastic they use has such, at least from what I've visually seen, not firsthand, it looks so realistic and in the way it moves in the water, it, the hydrodynamic status of it is just, it, it intrigues me, how it, how it works in the water. Um, so they have a crawfish that I'm interested in getting, but what I did get was not the chase baits, I did get the live targets mud bugs. So these are like a last year well, year before last. So these are 2018's iCast baits. Um, so these are... A lot of people have seen these. These are basically just a crayfish imitator. 
Um, I got them in two colors. I got it in this one here is uh, so it's an inch and a half. It's a three eighths ounce, and this is the mud blue color. So it's basically just like my little electric blue crawfish down here, uh, but it's a fish and tackle bait. It does come with spare arms, spare pincers because the pincers do uh, come off of the face of the of the jig. But it's basically a soft plastic, uh, single hook, so it's it's probably easier for penetration. Um, it's back weighted so that when it does settle, it settles butt down with the floating claw, claws coming up and the, the skirt will obviously pulsate and flare out in front, um, giving you that defensive posture. And then if the fish comes down to catch it, it's got the hook right there to, to pop up. Um, I don't know. I, I, I've seen these online and I just was intrigued and I wanted them. Uh, I do like anything that is realistic and it does have a very, very realistic appearance, a natural appearance. They don't go overboard with the colors. They, they emboss in the plastic. It, it's got that natural kind of hues to it. Uh, in fact, I'll open up this one. This one is the color uh, called Natural Brown. Uh, this is more apt for some of the crayfish that we have in the rocky areas uh, of the lake that I fish primarily. We do see the, the red and this brown color, not so much the blue, but uh, we do see red and, and brown. And this, this really is almost identical to the hatch that we have. Uh, there would be a little bit more of an orange, opaque color to the, to the tip. Um, but uh, other than that, as far as the body it goes with this copper amber brown and this dark brown on the back end, that is like dead on what we have in, uh, in our water. They even, you know, the weights are even designed with the image of a tail curled up as if it was flapping to swim. So you can run this, you know, just pull it, drag it across the bottom so it looks like it's, it's swimming, or you can just drop it down, twitch it up, drop it down, you know, you, you can fish this any way you want. Um, and, and probably catch some pretty decent sized fish when they're in the mood for a crayfish dinner. Um, and again, like I say, they come with the spare, uh, the spare crayfish crawls. Uh, so, if you're into prawn and crayfish uh, baits, I don't know, me, I'm personally giving my uh, preemptive stamp of approval to these just because, I don't know, live targets never failed me. And, uh, and, and I, I like them. I think they, they look good. Again, you got to catch your fish when they're in the mood for that particular prey. If that's not their forage for the moment, you might want to, you know, switch over to an underspin jig. Uh, we'll see. But uh, I hope this was fun. Um, just quick, you know, I just, I told you I got the order. I just didn't want to put this out. I'm, what I'm doing is I'm filming this now and then I'm going to have it post itself sometime in the future. I haven't decided. Uh, I hope you enjoyed if you like this, pay attention to my other my other channel videos. Um, check it out. Enjoy view. Sometimes I give him uh, like hints and tips on how to fish certain things. I will give DIY things on, and tutorials on how to make certain baits. For example, um, you know how to do the the um, the big thing was that uh, Tokyo rig. I did a little quick DIY on the Tokyo rig. To save you money. Um, I tend to try to find baits at a discount. I showed how I can get, uh, you know, an Abu Garcia uh, uh, bait caster for $10, brand new from the store, cost me 10 bucks. Um, things that I try to show ways to work the system, as far as coupons or ways to make your baits your, your own way uh, and save you money, uh, that's what I try to do. Uh, I also like to do these unboxings with uh, Mystery Tackle Box and with uh, uh, Angler's Hall. Angler's Hall is on pause. They're not going to release a new box for January or February. The next one, I believe, in the email was March. So they'll come back online and start uh, reproducing their boxes in March for you know the pre-spawn and, and spawn um, for most of the waterways. So... Uh, there's going to be a little bit of uh, less, there's not going to be any Angler's Hall content between now and then, but what I may very well do is I might just order a backed Angler's Hall box, uh, you know, one of the gift packages where they sell off the extra, excess Angler's Hall boxes or excess 
mystery tackle boxes for seasons when they don't have them, and you order, you know, you order it to give it a gift. And and I might actually order one uh, and do a giveaway sometime, maybe in uh, February. Maybe I'll do it for February, like a Valentine's Day kind of thing. Uh, it is, after all, my anniversary month, so uh, I might do it as a as a like a me to you uh, anniversary gift. Well, we'll see. Um, all depends on whether the, the wifey says it's okay. You know. But uh, anyway, <laughs> no. But uh, anyway, uh, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, like, subscribe, share this. Go see some other videos. If you find something that you like, if it's informative, if it's entertaining, if it's something you have a friend at work that would like to see, share it. Show it to them. See, uh, see if they like some of my stuff. Um, we grow together. I'm getting closer and closer to that 500 uh, subscriber count. When I reach 500 subscribers, I have a giveaway of a few things, including a hand-painted by Martis Lures um, Whopper Plopper, which is, uh, you know, the top water uh, Whopper Plopper bait. It, he got the blank in and he hand-painted it in a crawfish pattern with our Foul Mouth Fishing's uh, logo. So, uh, you know, somebody's going to win that one lucky subscriber. Uh, I hope, again, that you enjoyed. Try to get those numbers up to 500. When I get to 500, I'll do that giveaway as well. Um, it's not going to stop me from doing all my other giveaways, but I don't know. I'm kind of anxious. I want to see that 500. And, of course, after that, I want to see 1,000. Uh, but uh, most importantly, I just, I just appreciate the, the 450 uh, or so that have already graced me with the, with the love and uh, the respect to actually spend some time watching my, uh, my little broadcast, my little uh, deposits onto the internet um, as a creator. I don't edit videos. I speak off the, I speak off the top of my, my head. Um, so if you're looking for videos that are more, uh, you know, B-roll of a boat going down the water, um, you can enjoy those too. I don't have anything against those guys. But uh, I just want to let you know, if I do edit any videos in the future, it's going to be basically just to cut out time. It's not going to be a, it's not going to be to add flash or flare. I'm not a person that wants commercials in my videos, and I'm not a person who wants to look at a, tr a leaf floating in the breeze for three minutes out of a, out of a 20 minute video. I'd rather just have 20 minutes of conversation, interaction, education, explanation, and hopefully get that back in return. Drop comments what you think. Any of these baits that I just showed you like or dislike, things that may you might have as an interest. If you got a bait that you use that's a killer, share it with me. I'd love to go try it. Um, I live in the Northeast in New Jersey. Uh, I primarily fish for bass, but I also have uh, pike, musky, um, you know, all kinds of different fish. Obviously bluegill and panfish and crappie and, and all that. But uh, if you have a bait and you, you, know, you have a, a bluegill bait that you love, share it with me. Um, I, I know for catfish, you know, uh, and, well, carp. Carp love strawberry soda mixed with Wheaties. Take Wheaties, crunch it up in your, in, in, you know, uh, grind it up, add in some, some uh, Fanta strawberry soda, mix it into a paste, into a bait ball, and squeeze it around a little mosquito hook, and toss it out there and... If you're into uh, to fishing for carp, that's a possibility. Um, so that's just a bait that, that seems to work for, for me and friends that, uh, that I know. But anyway, thank you for sharing some time with me. Like, subscribe, share. Uh, hit that bell notification so that when I do put out videos like this one that I might record now but it won't post till later, it's going to go post on its own. And if you're not, if you don't have that bell turned gray, you might miss it. And it might be something that uh, has an interesting bait in it or two. So, uh, <laughs> thanks for sharing. Foul mouth fishing. Have a happy, healthy new year. Be safe on the water. And uh, I'll catch you on the next cast.